Welcome to Ridge Life, I'm Tim, and today we're gonna to look at the new rabbit huts we're putting together for meat rabbits on the ridge. We had this old uh, hobby rabbit hutch here, and we had a couple rabbits in it, they were pet rabbits, and uh, we had it in the barn, uh, we didn't have it on a stand yet though, so it was low to the ground. Unfortunately, in that short time we had it in the barn, a fox came in and pulled on the bottom uh, gate material here on the and pulled open and got to our rabbit. So what we've done today is we built a pressure treated two by four stand and this stand is heavy duty and we have put a uh, half inch by one inch wire mesh on the floor that allows their feet to be supported and also allows the uh, the uh, feces to drop through. We've got a lot of work to do to this before we can put rabbits in it though. One thing I really want to do is the bottom half inch by one inch mesh. It is a galvanized rust resistant, but I'm going to paint it a uh, black, um, kind of similar to that. This is painted black, this uh, material here, and that'll help the, um, keep it from rusting from the, uh, animal waste, uh, causing it to corrode. In addition to painting the bottom wire mesh black, like the wire on the uh, sides, we're going to paint the stand and the whole exterior of the hutch barn brown. The same color as the ridge barn, so it's going to be a complement to it out here on the ridge. We're going to fortify this a little bit more than it is now, this being a hobby hutch. You can see how the fox pulled on it before. Now it really had the ability to do it because it was on the ground and it could pull. Being elevated on the stand, the fox, you know, he can get his mouth or paw up here, but he ain't going to get the torque he needs to pull on it to pull it out. But we are going to fortify it some more. I'm going to put poultry clips in all the way around each panel of wire. We're also going to, uh, once we get it together, we're going to put um, support boards to support the top hutch to the bottom. It allow us to keep it separate, but again, be fixed in place. And I'll show you what that looks like when we get to it. We are really looking forward to having rabbits again on the ridge. Again, not just as pets this time, but as a source of protein for our family. We put in poultry staples all along the bottom here to help uh, secure that material in its uh, frame there. Again, with it being elevated, I don't think we're having any issues. We'll get this all painted up and it will look a lot nicer. So you're painting barn brown on the hutch and I'm gonna paint the uh, bottom wire mesh black to match the wire mesh there. And then we'll put that on top, finish up. Um, we can get a fine brush and do the inside of that morning. Don't worry about that white right there. We'll come back because you really can't, you know what I mean? That, that's, that method don't work there. We'll use a fine brush. Sound good? Probably gonna need a couple coats of that anyway.
Oh, 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 oh. I do. Oh, yeah. I landed on my foot. Why'd you do that? I thought you did it on purpose. Oh. My wrist already hurts. Huh? My wrist already hurts. <laughs> 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 Where'd you spray? My hand. All right, we have the stand painted. You can see the wire mesh is painted black, like the wire mesh on the hutch. And uh, the stand is painted barn brown to match the ridge barn. Come over here, we can see Morgan's got a lot of the, the hutch painted. We still got this side to do. We're gonna finish this up together. We got a little touch up. We'll paint up on the end. The roof has um, got lots of dust on it right now. That's why it looks uh, brown the way it is, but it's actually a black, um, shingled roof so just have some touch up and we will be ready got about 90% of this painted uh, we still have to get the interior of the hutch painted but uh, and then get the hutch put on the stand here and then we'll do all the detailed parts we missed on the hutch I think the, the stand itself is pretty much done though I think it turned out really nice how we have this set up and once we get it all put together we'll show you all the features of it but again I think it turned out really nice it's gonna match the barn of course the barn needs to be painted too that's actually this is actually the same color as the barn but the barn needs to be painted we'll, we'll do that soon but we'll, we'll have this hutch up on the stand very soon come back and show you what it's going to look like when we put rabbits in it well that was fun you did a great job getting this thing painted you can see we got it all put together the base the top's on we got to do a little more touch up paint to it but i uh, mean it's it's ready to go so we're going to go down to his way homestead here very soon as soon as he gets some uh um a buck and two does uh, weaned and ready to go uh come up here to breed we will get those up here and we'll show you introducing rabbits to our ridge rabbit hutch so thanks thanks again buddy did a great job appreciate everybody watching that video if you can subscribe to ridge life if you haven't already make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out so Hope everyone has a blessed day and go Ridge Life. Go Ridge Life.